following video is not made for kids. Viewer discretion is advised. Hello to my subscribers, this is the TF Angie coming to the review of a Transformers figure I have been really looking forward to getting, and it is the Transformers Legacy Core Class Skywarp. Now, Skywarp has gotten a bun gotten uh, mixed feelings from Transformers fans and collectors, and it's nothing to do with uh, Skywarp himself. It's the accessory piece that he comes with, and I'll explain that in a moment. So, uh, for those of you who have been collecting the Transformers figures for the last, last year, uh, you will know, you already know, oh, that uh, Legacy Core Class Skywarp is a direct repaint of the Kingdom Core Class Starscream figure that was released last year in 2021. And I gotta say, I really enjoy Skywarp's paint job. I love the silver, the black, and the purple that's used on him. So here on the top of the box, we've got some artwork of Skywarp in his jet mode. Here he is inside the box in the front. On this side, you've got some artwork of Skywarp in his robot mode. Other side, you've got the poster image for the legacy line. Coming on here to the back of the box, you've got the product photos. You've got Skywarp in his jet mode and in his robot mode. And for those of you, you who aren't aware, it is here, unfortunately, the... He, it is it is 100% true unlike Starscream Core Class Skywarp does not have his null rays he instead comes with a, a tuning fork fork type weapon is what a lot of Transformers fans and collectors have been calling it and basically Skywarp comes with the bottom third of a three part, so, three part sword that's actually designed to be used by Core Class Hot Rod so that is a tad disappointing no, I'm sorry, it's not a tad disappointing. That is out, outright outright disappointing that Hasbro and Dakar Tomy decided for the sake of designing a large sword for King or for Core Class Hot Rod and then giving one piece to Skywarp, the other piece to Core Class Iguanas. Honest, I'm sorry, but I cannot justify Skywarp being denied his null rays for the sake of a weapon that is designed to be used by Hot Rod. So, yeah, I am really irritated. Hated with that decision on Hasbro and Takara Tomy's part. So further ado, let's get Skywarp out of his box and take a close look at him in robot mode. Alright, and so here is Core Class Skywarp out of his box and in his robot mode. And I gotta say, he is really impressive looking. I really enjoy the paint job that's used on him. The silver, the purple, and the mostly black. I really, really, en really enjoy how Skywarp came out. The only gripe I have is that the purple on... Skywarp's wings, the stripes, and his Decepticon logos. Now, my camera is making them look very bright and contrasting, but if you actually look at it with your eyes, it's actually a very dark color, and it almost blends into it now. Right out of the box, my copy of Skywarp has a... The left side arm is extremely loose. Loose, so that is a bit discouraging right out of the box to see that one of the arms is so loose that it wants to pop off at a moment's notice, but... I can overlook that because Skywarp is my personal favorite of the Seekers. Seekers, and I just really enjoy having <coughs> Skywarp in the core class size. My apologies for pausing the video abruptly. I, abruptly, I was uh, choking on something I ate, ate at dinner a while ago. But for a size comparison in robot mode, here is Skywarp next to core class Starscream and... Yeah, I agree with what everyone else has said. This tuning fork weapon that was given to Skywarp, no, that has to go. That is out. That is an outright disgrace to Skywarp and the Seekers in general. So, but thankfully to third-party uh, upgrade kit designer JRC Design, I, I now have a pair of null rays that I can give to Skywarp. So let's get them attached to his arms. Arms. Like all the upgrade kits, JRC Design comes out with these uh, no rays are 3D printed plastic. So if they look 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 as though they're uh, a different type of plastic, uh, that's because they are. But yeah, here are the. Uh, but yeah, here is how Skywarp is supposed to look with his no rays attached to the sides of his arms. So, um, or so JRC Design did a pretty good job. Of having the no rays look uh, similar to uh, the no rays on Kingdom Core Class Starscream, uh, the main difference is that there's no uh, tiny little three millimeter post at the top of at the back end of the no rays, no rays the no rays here on Skywarp. But one nice thing is that the front of the no rays are the same shape, so you can put blast effects at the end of 
Skywarp's no rays, and he's just like Starscream, so I really enjoy what we've seen that right there. So yeah, this is the this is the access these are the accessory pieces that Skywarp was supposed to come with. And as I said a moment ago, um, this official tuning fork weapon that's, that Skywarp comes with, it's one of M's with. So this is going to be the one of the gimmicks with the Transformers Legacy line is that the core class figures released in each wave of the Legacy line are going to come with a, a uh, weapon accessory piece that is designed, that the weapons are designed to combine together and form a larger weapon for core class Transformers figures to use. So, when you combine the tuning, Skywarp's tuning fork, or uh, Iguanus's taser gun, and Hot Rod's dagger, it forms this much larger sword for core class Transformers to wield. Um, in the product photos that have been released, the sword is designed, is intended to be wielded by Hot Rod, but any core class Transformers figure can wield it, so here it is being held by, held by Star Ice Cream, Ice Cream, and, uh, the, uh, the way the uh, Skywarp's tuning fork is designed, even though there's a 3mm peg at the bottom for core class figures to use, the use the uh, larger section of the hilt is a 5mm five millimeter peg, so if you have any 5mm uh, port uh, Transformers figures, you can attach it to, attach it to those uh, larger Transformers. So here's the sword attached to the uh, JRC Designs. Uh, a shoulder mount, shoulder mount upgrade kit that I gave to Generation Selects Megatron. So if you want to, you can have the sword wielded like that. And so yes, the sword is designed to be wielded by both core class and larger class sized uh, Transformers action figures. But figures, but the fact that Skywarp had to have his No Ray sacrificed for this uh, combining weapons to form core class figures having their weapons combined to form larger weapons weapons I think that's just outright ridiculous and I do not enjoy boy, the fact that I had to uh, order an upgrade kit in the first place to give Skywarp the uh, accessory pieces that he was supposed to come with I'm with but if, but if you want on to you can uh, have Skywarp still use his uh, uh, tuning fork, or if you are so inclined to do so. Do so. You can also. There's also another three millimeter peg uh, egg uh, here on the bottom. It's so, so similar to Iguanus. You can imagine Skywarp's weapon being a type of taser gun if you and if you want. But yeah, that weapon is just uh, outright ridiculous. So um, as far as getting these upgrade kit, it's it's for Skywarp. I do not regret getting these. I highly recommend you get it a set of Null Rays for Skywarp if you I warp uh, if you can find I'd want at a decent price. Ice because a Seeker without Null Rays is just like Optimus Prime without his trailer or Megatron without his fusion can. And it's a bit it, and it should be an accessory piece that the Seekers automatically come with um, with regardless of other gimmicks. Gimmicks. And um, that said, I and I am thankful that we now live in an age where you can make, you can use a 3D printer to make no rays if you want. And and I just really enjoy seeing Skywarp and Starscream standing side, side by side with each other. I do hope we get Thundercrack Acker from this mold as well, because I'd love to complete the trio of Seekers in this size class. So without further delay, let's get Skywarp transformed into his jet mode and wrap up the review. Alright, and so here is Skywarp transformed into his jet mode with his Null Rays attached, and I gotta say, I really enjoy seeing Skywarp with his Null Rays. It really, really does make the jet mode look far more outstanding than it than it does without the Null Rays. As and as for uh, Skywarp's tuning fork, there's a 3mm port on the bottom of the nose. That was according to the Hasbro's official product photos, you're supposed to attach it with the tuning fork facing forward so it looks like Skywarp can shoot electricity out of the front of his jet mode but if you want Skywarp to have a more aerodynamic look you can of course of course have it uh, facing the 
opposite direction and it looks like he has an additional uh, Gatling gun machine gun at, and underneath the nose of his jet mode oh, I personally prefer this more aerodynamic look look for sky warp I warp and unfortunately there aren't any other holes to plug uh, the uh, this throw me this uh, tuning fork into and incredibly Starscream has the exact same throw millimeter peg on the bottom of his nose so you can, if you want, plug 3mm weapons on the bottom of Starscream as well. So here's Skywarp next to Star our Scream. I really enjoy my having these two guys. Again, I really hope we get Thundercracker in this mode as well. And for one last size compare, Harrison, here is Skywarp next to Iguanas and Hot Rod. So here are the three uh, core class figures from Wave 1 of the Legacy line. I know. So do I recommend getting Kingdom Core Class Skywarp even though he doesn't actually come with his Null Rays officially? Absolutely I do. Do I recommend you get a pair of Upgrade Kit Null Rays for Skywarp? Definitely. You will not... Definitely. It is a worthwhile investment getting a pair of Null Rays for Legacy Core Class Skywarp. I honestly hope we don't have to do the same for... Uh, Aim, if, aim for Thundercracker, if we get Thundercracker in the core class size as well. Uh, one last thing I will say about these Null Rays from JRC Design. There are two colors that you can choose from for Skywarp. You can either get black one, and, or you can get purple ones. Even though the purple ones, and unfortunately, it doesn't quite match up the purple used here on Sky. I, work, I highly recommend you get the purple rays if you do. And unfortunately, one of the main reasons why... I, these Null Rays aren't the same shade of purple that's used on Skywarp. That's because every piece of, of Kingdom Core Class Skywarp that is purple is in fact purple paint that's been applied to the surface of black plastic. Skywarp's tail fins, his robot, mo robot mode feet, and his, feet, and his robot mode arms, the, arms, that is all purple paint just like the stripes and the Decepticon logos on the back of his wings. So I honestly don't know why Hasbro and Dakaratomi couldn't do those parts in purple plastic. I guess black plastic with purple paint on top was much cheaper. Epera. You can see here on the bottom of Skywarp's uh, uh, tail wings where the uh, where the uh, tail fins ends are actually black plastic right there. Here, so um, after Skywarp not having his null race come and with him, that's the second uh, disappointment that I can find with Skywarp is that all his purple parts are in fact paint it's not plastic bits it's black plastic that's been painted over but apart from that i highly recommend you get legacy core class sky warp you cannot go wrong having this figure in your transformers collection so thank you guys all so much this has been the tfn and geek and remember you guys stay safe stay healthy and until next time transform and roll out goodbye everyone